two water pipes together fill a certain tank in six hours. The smaller pipe alone takes one and a half hours longer than the larger pipe to fill the same tank. How long would it take the larger pipe alone to fill the tank? Here we have a flow rate problem and flow rate is defined by the following. Flow rate is equal to your volume over your time. And we've been provided uh, very little information. We've been told that together the pipe A and pipe B will fill up the tank in six hours. So what we have is uh, a situation and then they go along to tell us how long would it take the larger pipe alone to fill the tank when the smaller pipe would take one and a half hours longer than the larger pipe. So what we have here is we have the larger pipe being defined as the volume and notice how they haven't provided any information about the larger pipe but we know that it has a flow rate defined by volume over time and the smaller one uh, would take 1.5 hours longer. So if that's the large one, the smaller one would be the volume over the original time of the large one, which we don't know, plus 1.5, which would take six hours. Now, remember, that's six hours, we still don't know the volume. Now what we can do is neutralize the volume by substituting one into every where we see volume, and of course T where we have time. And we end up with the following equation. One over T plus 1 over t plus 1.5 over 1 over 6. Now that said, if we hypothetically can solve for t here, then we can find the time it takes the larger pipe to fill the tank alone. Let's see what we can do. Let's combine these two terms by cross multiplying like this. This times 1 gives us t plus 1.5 and t plus t times 1 is t. And then these two multiplied give us t squared plus 1.5t is equal to 1 over 6. And here we have a monomial on the left side and a monomial on the right side. So we can cross multiply these two so that we can get rid of the denominator that's this. In other words, we can multiply both sides by this denominator and that would kill everything off. So if we do that, we end up with the following. And keep in mind that these two t's can be added up because they're like terms. Let's continue. So 6 times 2t, combining those two t's, plus 1.5 is equal to this times 1 which is t squared plus 1.5t. And we'll expand this, see what happens. 12t plus 6 times 1.5, that is equal to 9, is equal to t squared plus 1.5t. Let's bring every term to one side. Let's bring all these terms to the other side so we end up with 0t squared. And it kind of looks to me like this is a quadratic function. Quadratic functions are tricky to solve. Let's combine these first and I'll show you what to do. t squared minus 10.5t minus 9. So to solve this we need to use the quadratic formula but there's always an easier way. The easier way would be to use a calculator. So we click mode, equation, and we will pick number three. 
And if we do that, we substitute our values for a, b, and c, a being 1, b being negative 10.5, and c being negative 9. So let's see what that gives us. Negative 10.5 and negative 9. Now we should be looking for a positive number. So that's one of the numbers, 11 and a half, approximately 11 and a half hours. And let's look at the other one. So that's the first possibility. Let's look at the other possibility. Negative 0.79. Now obviously that can't work. So let's try to make sense of this with the information that's given. How long would it take the larger pipe alone to fill the tank? It would take the larger pipe alone 11 and a half hours. And then of course the smaller one you would add the one and a half hours to that and it would give you some some number like 12.8 i hope this video was helpful uh, if you have any more questions like this uh, feel free to visit our website or comment below and i will help you out good luck